Woo! Action Movie Dad here, and you're looking great today. Welcome to a VFX side quest where we make something quick and easy. Now, Sub Zero, like Elsa, has the ability to magically form things out of ice. And now you can too. Just do what I do. Right. Make or find a 3D model you'd really like to see formed by ice crystals. I'm gonna try to find a knife. That's a knife. That's a knife. Using the Sketchfab importer extension in Cinema 4D, I like this heart sacrifice sword by Lobke van Gelwey, which I'll save as a Cinema 4D file. In After Effects, I pop in a background photo from Pix here, and then add an adjustment layer, tint it bluish with some CC toner, CC toner. and also add a little camera lens blur. Camera blur. Now let's add a solid with trap code form. Trap code form. In the designer window, I'll click 3D model as my base form and import that blade. And now I've got what looks like a wireframe, but really, it's a bunch of particles on the edges of the model. You can tell as I turn down the particle density right here. Now let's switch this option to faces instead. Now we can click over to particle type and select sprite. Choose sprite and we'll grab this glass bit sequence too. And look at that. Now the particles are dancing now, but that's because we've got to change the time sampling to random still frame. These particles are still too small, so let's go to the size block and increase the particle size and maybe add a bit of size random and random rotation. Now, as you make the particles bigger, form optimizes the total number of particles trying to preserve the density visually. So you may need to hop back over to your 3D model settings and then manually adjust the density until you have something like this beauty. Now, these sprites here are rendered in normal mode, and it's possible to see some of them popping in front and back of each other as the base form rotates. So let's change the blend mode to lighten. No popping. Now, hopping out of here, we've got an object made of icy goodness. Great for a static model, but let's have some more fun. Create a new white solid Let's call it size map. And then solo that for a second. Double click here to add a rectangle mask and then press M to reveal the mask shape keyframes and add one over here toward the middle. Then scrub to the beginning and let's add a keyframe where this mask is all shrunk into the corner. Now we'll add some roughened edges. Rough and edges. Now you can adjust the scale and the sharpness until you have something more organic like this. Now we can hide this solid and then let's hop into our form layer, scroll down to layer maps, size. We'll select our size map layer with its effects and masks and then map it over X, Y. Now watch out for brain freeze as you play back your comp. Look at that, the particle sizes are controlled by the size map layer. Can you believe it? And not only that, you can basically live edit that mask to customize your layer's growth. Now, once you're happy with that, I suggest adding a few lights to your comp and enabling forms shading. Now, since form is using proper light fall off, I suggest boosting the nominal distance to get the kind of result you'd expect from standard AE lights, you know, without having to blow up the light intensity. And now just for some extra stylized glints, you can add some CC light sweep, light sweep where you could adjust the settings to give you some desired rim pops and you know, light sweeps, if you will. All right, so to add a little bit of depth, we're gonna use a very similar trick to what we did in our Wonder Woman side quest. On an adjustment layer placed below your form layer, add chromatic displacement and then select the form layer with its effects and masks and let me hide form for just a second now every comp is really different but i suggest using a low soften a high displace amount and a low spread chroma because ice isn't all that prismatic 
Oh, this looks good. And now we need to turn back on our form layer and I would recommend switching its mode to lighten. Now, if you're using them, remember that your scene lights and your nominal distance are playing a big role in how the displacement looks and how the form layer comps over it. So be careful not to overexpose. And as always, a subtle bit of optical glow can be the icing on the ca uh, on, on the ice on uh, lost. It. But, but that's it. Let the ice games begin. My magic is more powerful than your science. Your hypothesis will be proven false. Uh, I'll send you my Sub-Zero comp layers so you can create your own icy reveal. Use any found or custom model with form and try playing with things like depth of field. They can look really cool. And share your results with us at Red Giant News or me at Action Movie Kid. And remember, it costs you zero to sub to this channel. Do you wanna build a snowman?